breakout tour right here tonight at Louth Town Hall. It is the anticipated rematch between the steampunk sensation and this guy, dishonorable Dave Isaac. themselves so far here at Fight Factory Wrestling with that, with that feud, if you will, with the steampunk sensation. Just cast your mind back to legends and 12 bouts of Christmas. Think about legends, just that initial confrontation and the brawl that followed where it literally did spill out onto the streets of Lincoln. And then 12 bouts of Christmas, the first in-ring match between these two. And what a match that end looked being with the steampunk sensation, Edward Ripper taking the honours after that amazing flip, which then turned into the spear and the one, two, three. Although, let's not forget, DDI had other intentions after that match, and now he's got a mic. Shut up, Alf. Just 
constantly looking, gazing at Ed and Ripper, not really, not really taking his eyes off him, to be honest. This all goes down to the bad blood between the two in this initial feud, which is this one being match number two of that feud. And Ed and Ripper getting the crowd involved and I'm not quite sure if that's part of the refereeing syllabus there by Sleepless, but nevertheless, initial lock up here. Ripper and DDI. DDI has proven the pass. He kind of does have a slight strength advantage over Ripper. It's not a great deal, but with the technique as well, DDI does actually entail and actually has available to him. DDI does actually really come across rather strong in these encounters. Now, second lock up now. Collar elbow tie up and Ripper this time managing to get the advantage. Like I said, it wasn't exactly a huge advantage to DDI, but it, it is certainly there. And you'll notice that just on certain occasions, I should think, throughout this matchup. Third time a charm as once again collar elbow tie up. And now Ripper with the technique there, managing to isolate the arm. And turn it there, yanking the arm as it goes round and now has got the wrist lock on DDI. Ripper there, turn it into hammerlock. Now side headlock control standard. Ripper saw the arm and again goes back to Hamlock. Now waist lock. BDI is looking for the escape but can't quite catch Edward Ripper. As there now, I think he's got the full Nelson on. Can't quite see if their fingers are locked. And now transitions again. Head and air takedown, and Ed Ripper there just almost schooling DDI in technical catch as catch can. And it's going through DDI's mind at the moment after being embarrassed technically like that. Now DDI this time. Bit of his own technique, but look at that. Uh, the elbow strikes the back of the head, out, out the view of the referee, and now knee strikes here. Now isolating that arm itself into a, almost an arm bar. Just, just not even going for technique there, just slapping the back of Edward Ripper's head. And DDI really just mocking Ripper in his own way. Ripper most definitely there as another lockup now. And DDI there drops down with an arm drag. Not following through once again, just almost like a one up and ship. And hostile one up and ship at that. Lockup yet again. And that though, hip toss there by DDI and once again not following through just proving a point against the steampunk sensation <laughs> now DDI picks up the steampunk sensation big scoop slams directly in the centre of the ring and look again DDI taking the time and just again it's just one upmanship here not wanting to follow through just saying I can pick you up I can slam you down I'm going to mock you at the same time with my guns DDI though looking for a swing and misses Ripper there ducks under and big shoulder check there by Ripper that knocked DDI a bit for six comes over Japanese arm drag there by the steampunk sensation and now picks him up big scoop slam of his own Three out of position there going for the count or going for the pinfall my apologies 
And now Edward Ripper may be looking for that second rope splash. But no, look at that DDI there, holding on to the ankles and bringing down the steampunk sensation the hard way off of that second rope. DDI strikes in the corner there of Ripper. Sends him off into the opposite corner. DDI follows through, big strike there. Almost like clothesline stroke lariat on the steampunk sensation. And now DDI on that rope and pummeling down on the steampunk sensation with big fists on the back of his head. Watch what? How good I am. Thanks, mate. <laughs> DDI sends Ripper off again, opposite corner. And just a close shoulder strikes now, ramming the shoulder straight into the sternum of the steampunk sensation. Come on, you can do it! Come on, you can do it! Overhand strike there with the forearm. And now DDI taking a shortcut, if you will, choking. Edward Ripper on that bottom rope show no regards for sleepless, or as he calls him, slapless. Where that name comes from, I'll never know. I mean, who is this raisin character anyway? But anyway, DDI there with some just ramming the head, Ripper into the corner, and now sends him off the ropes, looking for some of their big black hole slam there by DDI. The cover two. Two count only though for DDI on that occasion. DDI is speeding up a little bit, but again, still taking time to question the referee's count, to question Sleepless's count, rather than really what he should be doing in that keeping on task. Oh, although DDI now cinching up for a suplex, but Ripper is blocking it. And now, strikes, reversal, is, is Ripper now going for the suplex, but no, DDI counters as well. And they're fighting desperately for this suplex, and DDI now got Ripper up with the score warning suplex and crashes down like a rogue MIG. Now DDI setting up for something here, off the ropes, big elbow directly into the heart of the steampunk sensation. Now DDI just picking his shots. Big stomp there straight into the stomach of the steampunk sensation. And now from the opposite side again, big leg drop by DDI. Now lateral press holding down the shoulder but only getting a two count there DDI. Still on top though, whipping Ripper into that corner. Now opposite corner follows through, but look at that Ripper there, managing to get out of the way and also hitting that drop toe hold and snake eyes in DDI on that bottom turnbuckle. Now Ripper on top, looking for his free gentleman. You've got to believe cinches him up. There's number one. Hit number two, number two here. Taking his time there, looking for the third and final one though. There it is, that third suplex, that third of the gentleman. Now lateral press and shoulders are pinned down, it's a two, and it's only a two there for the steampunk sensation, Edward Ripper. Now Ripper dropping an elbow of his own there. Look at the elevation on that massive elbow directly into the heart, if he's got one, of DDI. Cover two, two count only. Yeah. Yeah. Ripper there, DDI at this corner, whips opposite corner. And now, and a Ripper follows through that big splash. An avalanche style splash in the corner, opposite corner. 
corner now. Steampunk sensation follows through. Cartwheel back elbow. One more time. Opposite corner again. Final time's a charm. Big avalanche once more. And DDI is on his hands and knees. That just a kick there from the Ed, from Edward Ripper. That's uh, less gentlemanly than normal. Although cinched them up. Magistrat cradle. Two. But no, DDI managing to kick out with the uh, with the leverage of the ropes, if you will. Although Ripper definitely on all cylinders at the moment. And now you've got to believe he's biding his time. He's measuring DDI as he's looking for that big spear. Look at that DDI there using Sleepless to get back up. And now goes for the spear, but look at that, look at that though. DDI there pulls in Sleepless. And Ripper couldn't quite stop himself. Caught Sleepless out of nowhere. And now DDI looking for something. Cinches him up and it's the red alert slam there by DDI. Uh, and, well, this is... No, Sleepless with a count there and has to count the three. Ladies and gentlemen, give up with a dishonorable A-Lizer, D-D-I. And dishonorable is right, pulling Sleepless in the way of that spear. It was not a clean victory at all, but it's going to go down the record box as one apiece as a share of the honours. Look, I can't believe it though. Ripper looking for that spear. DDI pulling. Sleepless in the harm's way of that spear. Use him like a human shield, if you will. Dishonourable tactics indeed, but the red alert slam there. And I hate to say it, your winner. Dishonourable, Dave.